everyone. Welcome to today's video. I'm bringing you something a little different. I am wearing a really cute dress from everpretty.com, which is a dress company that you will want to hear more about. And I already showed you this look kind of, you know, in uh, full, full view. I'll give you another chance to see it too, but I wanted to tell you what I did to achieve my vintage inspired polka dot chic look. Um, and I'm wearing pearls and these little earrings I got from my friend JJ Caprice's site. You, uh, I will link below. These are old uh, vintage pearls. Um, but everpretty.com is really um, affordable, high quality dresses. And the thing is, is I'm not kidding you when I say high quality because Trust me, I have seen some of the things on Amazon that are like, look at these beautiful dresses that you can get for $20 and they come like the size of an American Girl doll. Um, these dresses, they retail in all price ranges, but I believe the two I'm showing you today are in the $40 range and um, you can pick out you know, bridesmaids dresses, prom dresses, homecoming dresses for like your high schooler, which my daughter is in high school and she has those events and those dresses are very expensive. So I'm gonna be like, guess where you're getting your next dress from, honey? Ever pretty. And um, but there's party dresses, uh, there's maxi dresses, there's all kinds, but I picked the two that really speak to me. This is the kind of, silhouette and style that I love when it comes to dresses. Like a really cute date night or out to a concert or a symphony, you know, something fun like a jazz club. So and heck, if you want to wear it to PTA, you will be my hero. Um, but I'm wearing Besame Red Lipstick. Um, actually, I'm wearing Besame Lipstick, but it is in the shade Red Hot. And I love this lipstick whenever I wear anything vintage inspired because this is a vintage inspired makeup company and I just, I feel like I'm channeling my Lucille Ball vibes with it. And then also on my eyes, I am wearing this e.l.f. palette in Mad for Matte and I have just a basic look. I am wearing two colors. I am wearing this taupey gray and this frosty white and that is it. And I've got my L'Oreal Pro Glow on and my e.l.f. blush in glow as well. So I am glowed up. Um, anyway, let me back up and you guys can see this dress one more time. This is a size 8, um, just to give you an idea, and I use the size chart on the website. And um, it has this like ruched little gathering around the waist. It's a little higher on the waist for me because I am long waisted, so my natural waist kind of sits right about here. Um, it just has like this little crossover thing but I love that it fits so I don't feel like I'm gonna expose anything. This is pull over, it has no zippers. Um, it's just to the knee. Oh, there's my knee. Sorry, this is all I got for you. And then I'm wearing these really cute red shoes from Zappos, which I will link below. I think they are still available and they're really comfortable. So, um, like I said, this is kind of like a polyester knit and it's just, um, it's just so easy. The, my only complaint is that it doesn't have pockets. If it had pockets, oh, Lord have mercy. Um, but I'm going to show you another look and um, I hope you like that. Um, and also I used my new me classic barrel, classic wand on my vintage curls, which is basically like the waves I do all the time. You guys know that. So I will uh, stay tuned and I will show you what's next.
here I am with look number two, a dark burgundy, more, you know, elegant, <laughs> something you could wear to a wedding, something you could wear to like a high school reunion, um, anything really, a cocktail party, but I love the color, I love the, uh, the little embellishments and the ruching. Um, I'm wearing, so if we want to talk about my makeup, I am wearing the Milani Metallics, and this is in Materialistic, and it came out a lot darker than I thought, but I kind of like it for the drama, right? And um, I just changed my earrings to these cute little rhinestone studs there from Kate Spade, um, and you saw the full length video, I'm wearing just some cute little BCBG shoes I got at Nordstrom Rack a while ago. So I just figure any cute basic black shoe will work. And here's the, the detail. This is like the little rhinestones. I think this would also be cute for a bridal party um, if you wanted shorter gowns uh, in your bridal party because this comes right just at my knee a little bit below. And um, it's like the perfect length for being sort of cute and flirty without being too short um, so it's a little more flattering for all body types you know what I mean I love the fit and flair and again this is also a size 8 and um, it has kind of a padded uh, bust area so it actually has a really good structure it has a back zipper and it has a little little button little loop and button closure here at the top uh, where this sort of sheer fabric is on the sleeves. And also, I do like having sleeves. I am so self-conscious of my arms, you guys. I know we all have different shapes and sizes when it comes to our arms, but for some reason, I have always just hated the way my upper arms look. <sighs> so I know, it's either hit the gym harder or just deal with it, Rebecca, right? Anyway. So I really hope you enjoyed this little review and fashion show of Ever Pretty Dresses. And definitely, oh, let me know what you think of, again of this look. I used the L'Oreal, the quad in the um, pocket palette in the Boudoir Charm I had in my drugstore haul. So um, pretty basic looks. I just kind of changed them up to kind of go with the color scheme and the palette. Um, I think this would be great also, again, later on in the months for holiday parties stuff like that. So feel free to, you know, leave me a comment and tell me what you think. And I'll leave the links below and you can check them out for yourself. And um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.